So what the Dickens is going on here? Well, you can find out a little bit later on. April the 1st, Saturday, 2023. Yep, it's April Fool's Day. The only way to avoid April Fool's Day is to stay in bed till midday when April Fool's Day becomes none and void. What is happening in China? Well, we have a roundup of a peripheral or a concophony of things. This, first of all, is what the Chinese government is showing about the cherry blossom. And once again, everything is all dandy and wonderful and fantastic. It does actually look beautiful, but there are some people in China who would like to kick these trees and get the blossom to come down and then they would video it on social media. Is that right or wrong? Don't know. But quite often in this channel, I would show something called a tidal ball, which happens in Hangzhou, which is very close to Shanghai. And the river there, near enough, has tidal balls quite frequently. The big one usually happens in September, October time. But this is happening, or this was happening a couple of days ago. It's quite magnificent. Now, I know many of you may be parents or grandparents or even great grandparents on this channel, but would you feed your child, your child or your great grandchild or your grandchild medicine with some live flies inside it because it's meant to be good for you? Well, in some places in China, they do. If you're squeamish, look away now. Now, before we get to the next article, on my community tab, which you can find on the homepage of my channel, I'm doing a daily piece of trivia. Yesterday was, what's the capital of the Kingdom of Cambodia? And the majority did get it right again. Well done, it is Pion Pen. Siam Rip, no, and Kampot, no. And Chengdu is actually in China, but no one said that. There is a new one for today. Again, go to the community uh, tab on the home page and you can see the new daily trivia. This one today is a bit harder for you. It's related to the free gorges. Now, again, if you're squeamish, walk away because there are zombies in China as we speak. <laughs> It's quite scary. Is this going to be the end of China with everyone, all the zombies eating all the humans? Away from China, I did find this um, earlier today, and I don't know if you know about it, but there seems to be a small tornado in the United States of America in Arkansas.
Quite often on this channel, we also do some media from the other side. We are so used to watching Fox, Sky, BBC, CNN, Al Jazeera, ABC, whatever, the list goes on. But it's quite interesting when you do get a foreign reporter reporting on the Russian side. This gentleman I'm going to show you in a minute is called George Galloway, a former MP and leader of the British Labour Party, exposes massive doubt standard with Western hypocrisy, lies and self-obfuscation in relation to China. Take this please with a grain or a pinch of salt. This is just Russian propaganda, Chinese propaganda using Western shields with this. But this one um, does do a lot of TV from RT. RT is Russia Today, the equivalent of, you could say, CNN, which is now actually, well, RT is banned in many countries, but occasionally you can get a glimpse of it. And it's just like, they're saying everything in Russia and everything in China is fine. They're the best governments in the world. It's great to have an authoritarian um, government rather than a democracy. They would define democracy in different ways when democracy only has one definition. If you go to the Oxford, um, Oxford Dictionary, which is the true original dictionary in the world, but they will manipulate that around. Have a look at this report. Don't get frustrated and don't smash the TV or your phone or your computer when you see this Muppet and his his version or his report. It's January 2020 and China has imposed a lockdown following the outbreak of the new virus, COVID-19. The rest of the world is still asleep. Brutal, authoritarian, tyrannical, the Western media cry. Fast forward three years later, January 2023, China relaxes its lockdown, removing almost all social distancing requirements, making domestic and international travel far more convenient. Now the very same Western media denounce China again. There's a word for such fork-tongued fake news narratives, hypocrisy. But hypocrisy is the bread and butter of British and American media when it comes to China. Having caused the deaths of a million Muslims in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Libya, they're shedding crocodile tears for Chinese Muslims whose human rights they continue to lie about, even in the teeth of evidence to the contrary. Who are you going to believe? Me? Or the evidence of your own lying eyes. They spread baseless fears about TikTok, Huawei, as supposedly a back door for Chinese intelligence gathering. They've even accused your light bulbs and your refrigerator of spying on you. But thanks to Elon Musk and his Twitter files, we now know that it's American intelligence that's not just coming through your back door, but your front door and every one of your windows, spying on everything you read and write and censoring you if they don't like it. More double standards in Africa, where China is building partnerships and cooperation for development, as it has done for many decades. On the other hand, there's Western colonialism. Just look at one country in particular, Belgium, capital Brussels, nowadays the headquarters of NATO and the European Union. But until 1960, Brussels was the capital of colonialism in Africa. Let's just look at one country, the so-called Belgian Congo what Joseph Conrad described as the heart of darkness. That brings us to a close again on Saturday, the 1st of April, 2023. The like is fantastic. The subscribe, if you could, you'll be my best friend forever. And also you can support this channel financially if you just go down to the links in the description below. I will leave you with some exercise from a Chinese middle school. It looks very conf uniform. You can obviously see this is all set up. This is not natural. Do I agree with this kind of exercise? No, I don't. I think exercise for kids should be sport because it's more fun. But again, they're trying to 
say the education system is really good in China. Well, it has got better, granted, it has got better, but it's got a long way to go. But I believe there should be more sport rather than just academics. The old saying, a healthy body is a healthy mind. I will love you and leave you with this video. Thank you, God bless to everyone, and I will see you very soon. My name is James, and this is the James N. Cooper Show. Bye-bye for now, thank you. Stop.